Welcome back to P3. Today we're going to look at Unit 3 trigonometric functions and we're going to start with uh, sec, cosec and cot. Okay, so you need to know that sec x is 1 over cos, cosec is 1 over sine and cot is 1 over tan and the easiest way to remember these is the third letter so C cos third letter S sine third letter T tan okay and that will help you just remember which one goes with which now with cot let's do the X um, because tan is sine over cos, cot would be cos x over sin x as an additional um, identity, I suppose. So it's just going to be a short lesson today. We're just going to look at just using these initially. Okay, let's have a look at these ones. So for each of these, we want to first work out either the sine, the cos or the tan and then change it. So looking at the first one, 210 degrees. So using my cast rule, if you think about where it is, 210 is going to be this section here, 210 degrees. So we know that's 180, like that. So 210 minus 180 means that this small angle here is 30 so this is 30 here and you can see that in this section tan is positive okay so tan of 210 will be the same as tan of 30. now if you have used the triangles in the past for your 30 and 60 degrees then you know that tan 30 is 1 over root 3 so tan 30 is 1 over root 3 so cot to 10 is cot 30 uh, which will be root 3 let's look at part B so we've got sec three quarters of pi. So we know that this is immediately in radians. And again, let's start with a nice sketch here. Think of my cast rule. Um, if you're not sure about using the cast, just let me know in the comments and I'll do a separate video for that. Um, so we got zero, pi by two, pi, 3 pi by 2, 2 pi. So 3 quarters pi is going to put me between pi by 2 and pi. So that's at this point. So if this point is 3 quarters pi, then it means that this angle, this small angle in here, is 1 quarter pi which means that this is one quarter pi. Okay, so in this section we can see that sine is positive, uh, cos and tan are negative, which is obviously quite important. So let's have a look. So sec three quarters pi. So sec is obviously one over cos. So let's start with cos of three quarters pi. And this will be the same as minus cos of one quarter pi. So again, my second type of triangle. So hopefully you have seen these before. We'll just use two triangles. So this is 45 degree one. Just for the common angles. Because then you just use your trig identities. So cos is adjacent over hypotenuse, so 1 over root 
2. So this is the same as minus 1 over root 2. So now we can go back to our sec. So sec 3 quarters pi is the same as minus sec a quarter pi um, or minus root 2. Okay, very, very straightforward, hopefully, there. Now, I could probably write this out a little bit better, but what I'd always do is I always just immediately think of cos, work it out for cos, and then you just find in the inverse. Okay, so it's nice and nice and easy, you know. And ultimately, I could just ignore that bit, you know, and just have this minus root 2 straight from the answer. Okay, part C. Should be obvious what we do now. Let's start off with my cast diagram. Look at where 135 is. 135 degrees is here. Uh, that's 180. So 180 minus my 135 is 45 degrees. So it's the same as my sec three quarters pi um just in degrees so cosec is one over sine so let's look at sine one three five so sine is positive in this section so this is exactly the same as sine 45 degrees and sine 45 degrees is one over root two using the triangle we just did with part B. That means then that cosec 135 is just root two. And we're done, okay? So if it asks for an exact value, then you should be using it as a whole value or a third, okay? If it asks you for three significant figures, then, you know, you can just to use a calculator and round it off that way. I'm going to give you a few questions to try and then I'll go through the answers at the end. Remember that, so just on the one uh, A, B, C there, but remember when you're on part D, E and F, remember your calculator needs to be in radian mode. Okay, so your calculator must be in radian mode. And just in case you haven't seen this before, kind of looks like a C. That's the symbol for radians. Okay, circle for degrees looks like a C for radians. Okay, I'll just pop the answers up to E and F. And there you have it. So for a show that, it's best to start with taking a single side. So left hand side, cosec 60, cot 30. So we're looking at 1 over sine 60 multiplied by 1 over tan 30. So so sine 60 is root 3 over 2. So 1 over it is 2 over root 3. I'm not going to deal with the third yet. Tan 30 is 1 over root 3. So that's going to be root 3 over 1. So you can see now my root 3 is going to cancel out. This is going to equal 2, which equals the right hand side. And that's all I need to do to show this. Okay, hopefully you found it useful today. It's a nice short video. Uh, next one we'll be looking at the graphs of sec, cosec and cot. Uh, if you haven't already, please uh, like and subscribe to the channel um, for more videos of this type.